Welcome back to the shop. This week's video is not a build. I'm upgrading my bandsaw. I don't use the bandsaw that often. I don't make bandsaw projects. And I currently have a 14 inch bandsaw from Grizzly. Now with these upgrades, I might delve in to doing some bandsaw projects in the future. So now let's get into these upgrades. Now the first upgrade is replacing the fence. The fence that came with the bandsaw is just a square aluminum tube that's only about two inches tall. It's just attached to the locking device with four hex screws. Now the new fence is also from Grizzly, but it has a cast iron base that a tall aluminum fence can be attached to. And there again, it's just attached to the locking mechanism with four hex screws. And then the fence just slides onto the base. Now the next upgrade is I'm replacing the guides. I'm putting in Carter guides. And the first thing to do is remove the tabletop. Once the tabletop is removed, then it's easier to get to the guides. And the first thing to do is take off the old guides. And then it's just a matter of following the instructions for the new guides and installing them. It's actually a very simple process to install these new guides. Of course, both guides are being replaced, the top and the bottom. And this is the main reason why you need to remove the tabletop, because you cannot get to the bottom guide without doing that. Then it's just a matter of adjusting the guides. I'm not going to go into detail on how to do that. There's an excellent video on the YouTube by Alex Snodgrass from Carter Tools on setting up these guides. Well, that's it. Upgrades are complete, and they do work better than the old ones. As I said, only time will tell to whether or not I really start getting into some bandsaw projects. The possibility is definitely there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And remember, all you woodworkers out there, just get out there and cut some wood.